Um, for whoever doesn't know Bazaar already, it's pretty much an app store for Flathub, or any Flatpak remote, anyway. Basically, I'm not uploading this to show you or talk about Bazaar, really. You can try it right after if you haven't just yet, but, um, what the hell. Let me show you a few things, just to make the video longer, with more ads. Source code is on GitHub, and it has 101 forks, 1.3k stars, and super duper active development. Unfortunately though, all this development is in Lang. but oh well, love your gnome, flaws and all. <laughs> You can get it from Flathub, which I find very cool. Um, I mean like, we're getting from Flathub an app to install stuffs from Flathub. Isn't that kinda ironic? Probably not the correct word, but you get what I mean. Right now is on version 0.7.3 and it has 124,000 installations. But come back in a couple of months and it will be like half a million. To be honest, I don't have an idea how Flathub counts, but whatever. Check it out in a while and you'll see. Snap is shit. Snap fucking sucks. Proprietary crap that nobody trusts. Alright, let me do a quick sneak peek of some of the bizarre features you might want to know. Starting from the user accounts and logins, those are basically Flathub logins, and we can use our GitHub, GitLab, GNOME, or that K thing. At the moment, logins are only useful to store our favorite apps, but there is an issue open to also keep the installed apps, so it will be easy to sync applications with our account. But then again, Flathub backend is pretty weak, and it can't store the app preferences or the app data and such, so it's kind of not a big thing even if it happens. Okay, favorites. Iconic for the win. Hiya! Obviously the app checks for updates, but um, let me show you something cool. We can open the transactions panel here and then update. Oh man, I love that interface. We can even do pause and continue. Isn't that awesome? You know what else is awesome? If you go to search, there is an Adwaita category that pretty much features only GNOME apps. Do you know for how long I have asked for this specific feature in GNOME software that is actually called GNOME? Oh, wait a minute. Um, that's truly ironic, isn't it? <laughs> now, inside the app details, we can see various infos like the app storage, including the user data. There are also the change logs that are usually only good when developers aren't lazy to do those. And look at this, Chief. We can open the... image? Whoa. I remember this complaint in GNOME software since forever. Fucking pathetic. The original problem with GNOME software is that it was developed just one year before the initial release of Flatpak. We are way back, around the years 2014 to 2015. It was then when the stupid Red Hat developers opted for the even more stupid package kit as a backend. Then they also added system updates, and after years of amazing unreliability, instead of dropping the project and quitting development, they decided to add Flatpak and Snap and whatever the hell other backends into a single app that couldn't even handle one thing properly. So here we are in 2026 making this video about it. Damn it, son! <laughs> Another failed app in the same year? Well, at least they had the minimum dignity to archive photos. Um, it might come as a surprise to you, but I actually do realize it's not the best thing going to YouTube and calling open source developers stupids. <laughs> but I have my reasons. I believe that the single worst human quality is denial. And I think... That's what's actually going on inside GNOME. Um, some people in GNOME are simply in denial. In denial to drop projects like software that haven't run well for years. In denial to prioritize the things that really matter, like GNOME OS, or storage backends and sync for GNOME apps. In denial to start experimenting with new big projects, like a new modern toolkit that will be async and remove G-Object overhead. And in denial to 
perhaps step aside too? Because you can't be a contributor and a maintainer in a project forever and call that community? What the hell? You're dictating it for 20 years? That's actually what's happening. And here's some news for you. You're not doing exactly as great as Linus with Linux. Speaking of which, even he uses AI for coding these days at the very same time that Gnome Builder is the only editor without AI support? If that's not a freaking denial, then what is it? And anyway, I have this thought for years. It's not like the best thought of all times, but it could work, maybe. So the main idea is that Gnome will choose to have like 10 or 20 core apps. And then every year or two, the community would have to pay a small amount and have a vote for the Gnome default apps of the year. And the winners would be awarded with prizes from the vote donations, of course. No point to super analyze it, but it hopefully will enable the community more because community apps are usually better than what Gnome does. And there are obvious reasons why that happens. And anywho, I vote already for Bazaar for the default GNOME store for 2026. <laughs> the end.